guys, welcome to today. It is a bright, sunshiny, kind of cool day. I love it. It's gonna be colder tonight. I thought there was frost in the, on the windows this morning. There was not. We got the whole crew today. We got Sophie in the back. We got Gabby in the back. We got Sam. Last night I hardly slept. I had like the craziest dream. I'm gonna tell you guys what it was. And then I hardly slept. And then Sam didn't get up with his alarm. And I was thinking to myself like, why is he up with his alarm? And then I realized that he took the day off. And then I was so happy. I was like, yes, I can go back to sleep. And I didn't though. I hardly could sleep last night. Sometimes that happens to me, not very often. But sometimes it does. So anyways. I slept perfectly fine but I had to turn off my timer because I wanted to sleep before. Ah, I didn't hear your alarm go off at all. So I must have slept. Oh, I always set two alarms. Gabby always sets two or alarms. More. Or more. Okay, so I'm going to tell you my dream. So I dreamed that we moved to a new house and that we had just moved in and that it was just like a big mess. And maybe it wasn't even a new house. I don't know. It's hard to figure that, them out. But I dreamed that I was at a house and we were at it, swimming in our big pool and 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 it was just chaotic it was just total chaos and then this lady and her husband showed up and they're like hey how are you and i'm like hi how are you and all of our people were helping us like that were there helping us move in and she's like i came for a visit and i'm like oh that's awesome and then i i said to sam like i don't know, I don't know who that lady is but then she acted like she knew me, so I knew I must know her, and I, I was like, oh, come on in, like, things are really messy, and they're like, oh, it's fine, and they sat down, pulled up some chairs, and I'm like, who the heck, like, she looks kind of familiar, but I don't think I know her, and I was, like, getting kind of stressed out, so then I finally said to her, like, I got up enough nerve, and I'm like, so I forget who you are, and she goes, oh, I'm one of your subscribers, don't you know, don't you remember, and then she, and I said, oh, and I invited you to my house? And she said, yes. And she pulls out a paper that was dated like three months ago. And it was a copy of our Instagram conversation. And she said, I really want to come and ride your horses. And I said, oh, that's amazing. That, that would be fun. And then she's like, see, you invited me to come. And I'm like, oh my gosh. Like, it was just craziness. Like, don't come to my house. It's really messy right now because I've been on the go. Don't come to my house. What would you do if somebody just showed up at our house? Turn them away and say, get out before I call the police. <laughs> run, run, run. <laughs> yeah, so Sophie takes after me. Well, I don't know. That's both combination of my responses, saying, depending on the day. House. But I wouldn't scream. Yeah. I, I murder, I wouldn't. No, Gabby would get the gun and Sophie would run. <laughs> <gasps> yeah, we don't actually have a gun in Canada. You're not allowed to have guns, so. Oh, oh well, yeah, you are allowed, but you have to like take get all these courses and, and get permits, them. and yeah, it's like a big ordeal. So Sam might have a gun, but I don't have a gun. All right, so today Gabby's gonna take this camera to camp, woo woo, and she's gonna try and get some footage. I don't know how she's gonna carry it, where she's gonna keep it, but hopefully it'll pass hands from one camp kid to another and they all vlog on it. That's what I'm gonna ask them to do. One of our subscribers, this beautiful girl, her name is Lori, you guys know her in the comments. She's always so spiritual and uplifting and kind to everyone. Her name is Lori and she always says GGG, give God glory. If you guys remember her in the comments, this is her CD, this is her and her sister. And I'm not gonna lie, I don't know which one is her, but they're both stunning, so. So anyways, she, run to you she made a cd and she sent it to us and this whole time i was thinking like i literally was like trying to sleep thinking like well, how am i gonna play that cd because we don't have a cd player and then i realized a couple days ago like holy heck i could put it in the car and then i was thinking like i need spiritual music for the car like i used to have some really amazing spiritual music that i loved and i don't have it anymore so now we're gonna play it you guys hopefully there's no copyright and i'm gonna let you guys hear it we're gonna see if our car reads it. Ooh. Oh, I love it already. So nice. I love it. I actually love it. Right, I love it, Lori. It's amazing. I can already tell it. I just wanted to share a little bit with our subscribers. It's amazing. It's Spiritual, but not biblical, if that makes sense. I absolutely love it. The second song especially really spoke to me. I love it. Thank you for sending it to me. I actually 
remembered, I actually remember now how much I used to listen to spiritual music and how much it really affected me and helped me. And I think I've been missing this. Thank you so much for sending it to me. Camp is only three days. Today's day two. Um, yesterday she got to ride Lily, who is one of her favorite camp horses. Is she your favorite camp horse? Yes. Yeah, and today we're betting on who she's gonna get to ride. Who do you think you're riding today? I don't know. We don't know. I think it's gonna be Polly. Same. And or Emerald. Emerald is the one she doesn't want to ride, right? No Emerald. Emerald and Polly, I hate. Yeah, I, mm, I won't want to ride them either. Neat. Like. For me, I have to ride a horse that I enjoy riding or I don't enjoy riding. Does that make sense? Like, it's hard. I don't ri enjoy riding Storm because even though he looks big and bulky, he's a dainty horse and that just doesn't feel good to me. Gabby, what horse do you not like riding? Emerald and Polly. Emerald and Polly. All right, you guys, we're about to find out. We're about to find out if Gabby's <laughs> dreams are dashed and she has to ride Emerald or Polly. My guess is Polly. Okay, so that pony that we showed you guys in yesterday's video, he's Brandon's, and he's for yeah. sale, and Brandon said we could buy him. He has one blue eye, one brown eye, and he's standing in the same spot that Gracie used to stand with his head stuck over the gate like Gracie used I to do. I apples. He loves it. But he's a project pony, and he's not broke. Oh, he's a large pony, too. He's a large pony. Uh, and shoes. So he's 14 hands high. And Gabby wants to buy him. Desperately. She forgot her mask. So Gabby wants him. She wants him for her own. I love him. Look at those ears. Look at those eyes. Like, So what attracts me to these ponies that I come here and I just see standing there are ponies that are friendly and want to just come and be with you. Like that's my thing. I never ever want to buy a grouchy pony again. Like I don't. I just love him. He's adorable. Comment below if you want him. If you think we should buy him. He's a project pony though. Mom. He's such a cute. I know. He's such a cutie. I love him. Alright Gabby. What horse do you think? Who are you making fun of? <laughs> Nobody. <laughs> That's what equestrian girls do. Okay Gabby. Who do you think you're riding today? I don't know. Did you look at the board? It's up there. Okay. You want to go look? <laughs> She's got the look on her face. She's like, who am I riding? Oh, yay. <laughs> yay, Lily. So we're coming back at 2.30. Between 2 and 2.30, we're bringing our horses and we're meeting Gabby here. So basically, we have to do all the work. No, you're loading them. Yeah, Dad is loading them. <laughs> Give me a break. She <laughs> you knows self loads. Yeah. You just gotta put the lead rope over his neck and tap him. Tap right. his stomach, go like, Gino. Unless he runs the other way. The thing that you guys. Now, so you might not feel it. The thing you guys don't know about horses is that they act off. different when their owner is not around. There's my horse, you guys. There's the boy I love. The boy I, I like love. riding him. You guys see him? That's Denver. I like riding him a lot. All right, you guys. I'm calling prank. Somebody's trying to prank me. So I got this message. I got this message from a girl named Dave. I'm also getting called by a girl named Josie. I got a message from this girl named Day by Day Vlogs dot edits underscore, and she said, "Hey, I have to talk about something." And I said, "Okay." And she said, "All right. I'm no stranger to surprise." And I said, "Okay." And she said, this paper town has let me down too many times. Why do I even try? Give one reason why I should. And I said, well, what do you mean? Wait, you're pranking me. That's the lyrics prank. That's the lyrics prank if I ever, I thought I could trust you. Never mind, she says. She's pranking me. Do you think she's pranking me or do you think lyrics I just betrayed prank. her trust? Prank. So I typed back lyrics prank. Can't fool me seen it if she doesn't type back <laughs> I'd be like oh my gosh what do you think the chances are she's pranking me she's like it Still? sounds like a song on how it's, I'm gonna look up the song and see if it is one comment below if you know the song oh <laughs> she said darn it <laughs> darn it I tried <laughs> and failed okay so I just had breakfast and then I'm gonna get up and start cleaning 
the laundry in the house. We're so behind on laundry because of the weekend and then having Jack here yesterday. Get off me. You're not allowed on the couch. Not allowed. Off. Get off the couch. Just because your owner's not here doesn't mean that you can't listen. Off. Okay, so before I get up and start doing all the things that I have to do, because we have a lot to do today, I wanted to tell you about, guys, about this girl on Instagram. Her her name is Kyra Vision, K-Y-R-A Vision underscore equestrian. Anyway, I found her channel, and she has, she has a fall video. Ah, Molly! She has a fall video that she just posted. If you're brave and you don't mind seeing falls, go ahead and show her some love. Like, go and follow her account and comment on her because she's so super brave. She fell off her horse. She got kicked in the face. Like, she fell and then the horse was trying to go. Like, the horse was gonna fall over top of her, so the horse accidentally kicked her in the face. It's an accident. Oh, horrible, but she's so brave and she says that it's not her first fall and it's not her last fall. She's going to get back up on that horse and it was amazing like to see her attitude and to see like the fall. Oh man, you guys, I keep watching it over and over, but don't watch it if it's going to take away your confidence because if it's going to take your, like I'm not letting my girls watch it because I don't want to take away their confidence. If his, if that kind of thing takes away your confidence, don't watch it. But if you want to see what happened to her, Kyra Vision underscore equestrian, then go and check out her channel. I'll make sure you comment and say that I sent you there so she knows that we are all supporting her and loving her while she heals up. Here's her channel, Kyra Vision. All right, so we are at our Tuesday hangout, which is Horde Station. It's the sales barn. I know a lot of you guys don't like to see animals in cages, and I don't blame you. But we like to come and see what's for sale. Sophie and I agree. If that goat is here again, it's a sign. Sophie's on the run. She sees a goat. Look at these big, beautiful cows so close up, laying down. Aren't they beautiful? Hello, pretty lady. I wish we could have a cow. More cows. Oh. Heard somebody say pygmy goats, that's what I want. I, never before in the history of the world have Sophie and I agreed together so fast. This is the one we want right are they here. Going with them? No. Look oh, at that. Are they miniature goats? Yeah, they're pygmy goats. That's what I want. I want him. Oh my gosh. This is my dream goat. When we have a good setup, this is what I want. You are so cute, but I also like that guy too. I like ones like that too. Oh, you're cute. I like this one. Oh. Look at that black and white one. Look at that baby. Oh. I want the baby. I'm obsessed with black and white pets now. Like that's cute. I still like him though. Number 407. Hi. It's hard for me to see goats here because goats are so personable. No horses to be seen. One day, Sophie and I will have our chickens and our two little baby goats. One day. Did you like those little mini ones yeah. though? Yeah, that's what I want. I just want baby. Those are the kind that I want, but I really like the, that bigger kind too. <laughs> because they're really super friendly. But that's what I want, you guys. That's what our dream is. That was the dream from the very beginning. Chickens and goats. And then we got horses. One day when we have the right facility. Okay, this is the part of our day that is gonna tell the tale, you guys. We are taking Chino and Finn to the lesson barn. Both are lame horses to the lesson barn. You're probably thinking, what the heck? Well, how come Finn is lame? Finn is, Finn got a bite in his hip and it made him a bit lame just a little injury he's okay you're coming in you're coming in Minnie I wish we had a name for Minnie I love you look at how cute mm, she's so sweet when she's hungry you're so sweet when you're hungry I need to clean up that poo hi princess you're coming in for lunch too I feel like We've neglected you the last couple of days and we have a really busy end of summer planned, but we will be spending time with you, Gracie. You'll get, yeah. look at, our ponies have dirt in their hair. It's a pony. Look at, Sophie, our ponies have dirt in their hair. Oh my goodness. Everyone's bigger than Willow. Oh my goodness. Oh, you've been rolling. Everyone's bigger than Willow except for Cricket. 
Cricket's smaller because she's fatter. Who's fatter? Cricket. Good. When I say the words, who's fatter, you always say the other horse. <laughs> so essentially what's happening is that we're taking all the horses but Storm. I want to empty this pool. I need a bucket. So we're taking all the horses but Storm because we want to see how Chino does in a soft footing. I, I'm undecided if it's the bruising or if it's the grass because some horses can't handle grass or this is what I dreamed last night. Last night, I dream every night, you guys. Last night I dreamed that the farrier, so he had his shoe off for five days. He has bruising. Dun, dun! Then he had his shoe off for like five days and the farrier put the shoe back on and we rode him and he was phenomenal. He was the best he's ever been. And then the next day, dead lame again. So like, I almost feel like the shoes are prolonging it because the shoes are causing problems with the, with the bruising, if that makes sense. Like he's got soft soles. Some horses handle yeah. shoes on bruises okay and some don't. Okay, so I just cleaned all the poo out of the arena because in case you guys, I try and keep up on this, but when you're away, and it's gonna be bad this weekend too because we're hoping to go to a show. So, we brought Stormy Boy inside. <laughs> He'd be looking rough. You like living like a horse, Storm? All dirty and dusty? Are you enjoying your rest? You got water, I gotta check that. We have the ponies in with him because, you know, you don't wanna be alone. Right, and then we're gonna load the horses all by ourselves. I mean, I'm gonna video. <laughs> That's my job. Horses tell you stuff, like, do you guys remember horse Finn in the past and Finn now? Like, Finn's telling us he likes Sophie and he likes being home. I feel like. I feel like he also doesn't like Storm, but we're doing our best about that. So this is the injury that Finn had. Oh great, I gotta work. Okay. He loads himself. What the heck? Now that's a good horse. Sophie hasn't loaded in a while, she's saying. Come on, walk him in there. You can do it. Just run ahead. He'll come in, his friend's coming in. All right! Holy I heck! Like he could have self loaded. That's how yeah. excited he was. <laughs> yeah! They're like, Storm went last time, now it's our turn. Come on. Right, you ready, guys? Ready to roll? Move forward there. Chino, Bambino. Good job! Boyfriend. We're proud Boyfriend. of us. We can do it. We don't need Gabby. All right, so we got the saddle, the girth. Where's your girth? Martingale girls. Oh, okay. Two. All right, we got it all. All right, we'll see you guys on the other side. I mean, on the other side of the road. Not any other sides of anything. Would you believe it's raining? It's raining. We're meant to ride them outside. So I checked out, so we've been checking on our chicken. I mean, we check on our chickens every single day, but we checked on our mama chicken a couple days ago and she had five glorious eggs under her. I'm so excited to see five babies. And then she, when I fed the chickens this morning, she was out. So I looked in there again, there was eight, eight eggs. And we've been getting like four every day from the chickens. So they're all laying and she's just collecting all her, her own eggs. We're gonna candle them one day soon. I just need to make sure, like we don't know which one is which, which day they were laid. I shouldn't have numbered them, but I don't want to like get one that was just laid a couple of days ago and candle it. It'll be too soon. So we're going to wait till soon. As, like we're going to try and leave it as late as possible. All right, we are headed out. We are leaving. These are the options. Both of our horses could be still lame. Both of our horses could be sound. That's the cheaper option. So let's go with that one. <laughs> Fence board. Oh my goodness, Gino. You're not a very good traveler. He's like, that's what I feel like. Finn didn't even touch his food. Yeah, Finn didn't touch his food. <laughs> oh, why is his tongue black? Why is his tongue black? Uh-oh. Finn's, look at his tongue. There's a problem. See your tongue? I've never seen a black tongue on him before. Finn? What were you eating, Finn? 
Let me see it. Oh my god, his whole face is is it bleeding? Is he hurt? What? His tongue is black. His teeth are black. His teeth are always like that one. Oh jeez. <laughs> he just threw the hay in my face. I wanna see it, Finn. Kevin, so if you can you hold his face open? Oh there's pure black in there. What is it? Open up your mouth. Okay. Just get me on it, shut it. Yeah. He's not gonna die, hopefully. <laughs> Sam's like, surprise, Gabby's not out here. Let's see? Okay, whoa. Don't bang into anything, big handsome man. Whoa, don't slide, don't be lame, don't be lame. He's like, I remember this place. I'm not gonna lie. Like, just when I think I'm getting better and I'm learning more, and then I come out and Finn has a black tongue. You're fine, Finn. I hope you're fine, Finn. Finn, we're not going to leave you. Wow. Look at that. Holy crap. How did he get that from the field? Oh, from walking up to the house. That's enough to make you lame. All right, well, we're here. I'm gonna go ask about his tongue. I'm not gonna lie, every once in a while I see a horse that makes me like excited about getting a horse. And I love that little pony. No, you're cute too. Yes, you are. Okay, so if you are an uneducated horse person and you were panicking about the black tongue, his dirt, he's licking dirt. Or when he like pulls the plants he, up. He could have ate the roots too, which had dirt attached. Yeah. You were thinking moldy hay, we don't give our horses moldy hay, but yeah. Fiona came running out, she checked them, it was dirt. <laughs> Finny, don't eat dirt, we forgot the fly spray. Like don't you know?